Hello everybody, today we will find out how many dumplings we can make using one pig. Our carcass weighs in at 100 kilograms. Let's start with the butchering. We cut the meat between the shoulder blades and bring the incision up to the neck. Now we have to make a second incision behind the leg and pull it up as well. We separate the leg itself. and cut off the remaining meat that was not removed from the main piece. Now make an incision just behind the ribs and along the ridge. Constantly pulling, we separate the meat from the bones And also, we separate the hefty hind leg. Using a hatchet, remove the ribs so that they do not interfere with the cutting. In the same way, you need to cut up the second half of the carcass. That's it, the cutting is complete. Let's proceed on to the deboning, and that is the separation of meat from the bones. Let's get rid of the skin first. It is very easy to remove directly with your hands. And we cut out the bones. Absolutely all the pieces need to be removed from the bones. Done. We transfer the hefty meat pieces to the shelf. And we begin to cut into pieces that will easily fit into the meat grinder. It is better to make short pieces, not strips. Then it will be easier for the meat grinder. Done. To speed up the process, we will use two meat grinders at once. We will use bowls instead and put the meat in the saucer. Turn on the meat grinder and first grind the minced meat through a large mesh. Then the bowls are filled with minced meat. We dump them into the large basin. We continue to grind the meat, and thanks to two meat grinders, it took only 40 minutes. And we have a bowl full of minced meat. We spin the meat grinder, and we take out the large grid. 
in its place, we're gonna put in a small one. We collect large minced meat and repass it through the meat grinder. Now the minced meat comes out with the right texture. It would seem that now we cope even faster. However, this took as long as three hours. 20 kilograms of onions are needed for the juiciness of the filling. We open up the grid. Take out an onion. We cut off the tail into the root and divide the onion into four parts. Take out the peel. Now you need to cut all 20 kilograms of onions like this. And then throw these into the meat grinder as well. We managed to get through the onions in just half an hour. Also, you need a lot of greenery. In order to chop them finely, we send them into the meat grinder. And add that to the minced meat. Also a lot of ground pepper. And a lot of salt. It's mixed well with an industrial mixture. We are left with a homogenous filling. We will need 100 eggs for the dough. We break them into a new basin. Also, you need a lot of flour. We pour it out with the first five kilograms. And mix it into the eggs. Add about a half kilogram of salt. And fill in the remaining 40 kilograms of flour. And finally, pour in some boiling water. In order not to get burned, first knead it with a mixer. And then with your hands. To knead the dough even better, we take it out of the basin. And we continue to knead it already on the table. All the components of the dumplings are ready, so you can start modeling them. We tear off a piece of dough. And roll it out into a thin sheet with a rolling pin. Then squeeze out some circles. We collect a little bit of filling, spread it out on the dough, and make a dumpling. But if we continue to do this, then this would be like a month's worth of work. Therefore, let's use a dumpling maker. We roll out the dough for her as well. We put this on the dumpling dish and press it on with our hands. We take some filling with a teaspoon and put it into a little cell. Now the next one. And that's how we do with each of the little circles.
cover up the top with a second layer of dough. Press down with our hands and roll it out with a rolling bin. The dumpling maker is designed in such a way that the two layers of dough stick together in the right places and are cut on the same stiffeners. It remains for us to turn it over and shake out the finished dumplings. Here we're left with really beautiful dumplings. Put these out on a large board. We'll set four cubes on the board as first because they're needed in order to conveniently put such pieces in the freezer in layers. And we lay out the first batch of fresh dumplings. And to make it even faster, we will use three dumplings at once. We haven't got the hang of this yet, and it took us two and a half hours to fill the first bottle. Let's put it into the freezer. Now we make a conveyor belt, and while three people are rolling out dough, two are sculpting and laying out the dumplings. This whole process has been going on for more than 10 hours and we are extremely tired. The rolling pin, the corner, everyone's hands hurt. On the second day, we continue to make the dumplings. And by the evening, the freezer was already full. So this is how many dumplings came out of one pig. We decided to count them, and we got 14,281 dumplings. In total, it took us four days to prepare these semi-finished products. Let's cook them and see what we get. These dumplings turned out just great. Much tastier, even the most expensive store-bought ones. We decided to put them all in different basins. And took them to the women and children's shelter to children in need. They have really large freezers, so they are provided with dumplings for at least six months. Fonzai, thank you! Woo! And if you give this video 300,000 likes for our efforts, then I promise to do something similar. By the way, write your ideas in the comments. Just don't tell me to make dumplings from one cow now. Bye, everybody.